The news moves fast and numbers are our language at Statista. I'm Gina and let's take a look at the numbers behind the headlines. On February 6th, Turkey and Syria were rocked by an earthquake measuring 7.8 in magnitude on the Richter scale. Tremors up to a magnitude of 7.6 followed. As aftershocks continue, the region was effectively hit by 20 earthquakes in two days. According to Turkey's Disaster and Emergency Management Authority, there have been as many as 90 aftershocks as of late February. The 2023 earthquake was one of the worst the country has ever experienced and one of the five deadliest quakes in the last century. The region is extremely earthquake prone, sitting at the intersection of three major tectonic plates. Hundreds of thousands of homes in the affected areas were destroyed. The quake claimed over 46,000 lives and has displaced millions more. About 95 countries and 15 organizations have pledged to aid Turkey and Syria. The United Nations has also launched appeals to raise funds amounting to $1.4 billion for the two nations. Apart from monetary assistance, rescue teams and convoys have been deployed by the contributing countries and the UN. However, having the aid reach war-torn Syria has been a challenge. Reconstruction efforts are currently estimated at around $84 billion for Turkey, adding to significant economic challenges both countries are facing, including soaring inflation. The AI wars are here. OpenAI has disrupted the tech business with its artificial intelligence chatbot, ChatGPT, using advanced AI to reimagine web search. DAL E2, also from OpenAI and Stable Diffusion, are blowing users away with renderings of scenes and people that don't actually exist. AI's sudden and impactful arrival has sent shockwaves through Silicon Valley. The chatbot's initial success is unprecedented in tech. It took just five days to reach one million users. Experts estimate that the app had over 100 million users in February. Google dominates search. Microsoft and Google have both been looking at how to use AI to take their search engines to the next level. Microsoft has been investing in OpenAI for several years and has recently announced a multi-billion dollar partnership believed to be valued at around $10 billion. On February 7th, Microsoft launched new versions of Bing and Edge beating Google to the punch. Google responded by launching its own AI chatbot called Bard. But Bard didn't get off to a great start, making a factual error during its first demo. In fact, that mistake saw Google's parent company Alphabet lose $100 billion in market value. This comes despite the fact that Bing has made mistakes. The chatbot engaged in some unsettling conversations, uttering hateful speech and even threatening users. AI, of course, goes well beyond search. More than 900 companies in several sectors are already using OpenAI in their business practices. Also in February, the Brazilian Carnival came back in full swing after a two-year hiatus. In 2022, COVID-19 concerns pushed local governments to cancel all street parades and only allow a watered-down version two months after the traditional date. For those in the tourism sector, the event's return provides welcome relief. According to estimates from the Ministry of Tourism, the 2023 edition of the event may have gathered around 46 million national and international revelers. The entire Brazilian tourism sector receives a huge boost from this event, especially the food service industry. For 2023, estimates suggest that the food service revenue surpassed transport and accommodation combined. The return of Carnival is another step towards ending the economic hardship caused by the pandemic, as the total Carnival revenue is estimated to almost reach the levels of pre-pandemic additions. Not only in Brazil, but also in other parts of the world, and the month of February is a month of Carnival and festivals. 
people in masks and costumes went about the Italian city of Venice between the 4th and the 21st for the second time after two previous cancellations in 2020 and 2021. Meanwhile, in the United States, several cities host Mardi Gras celebrations, where costumes and big floats are its main feature. The New Orleans remains the unbeatable Fat Tuesday hotspot. To find out more about these stories and countless others, head over to Statista.com and make sure you join us next time for another round of Month in Data.